What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. And guys, as you can see on your screen, we are currently sitting at 5-2 on this season. This is my second season playing in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. People keep asking, why are you only in, what is it, the, the pro division? Or I, I think I'm in like the rookie first string division or something like that. Uh, and the reason for it, guys, is because I've only played through one full season on the game. This, What you're seeing right here is my second season playing in the game. I haven't demoted myself or anything like that. So in the comment section below, if you're asking why that's the situation, I've got a brand new baby, guys. I don't have time to play as much Madden as I would like to. Hopefully, time will... Uh, come on my side eventually and I'll be able to start be playing more games and things like that but for the time being I'm just going to play as much as I can and record all the games that I play so you guys are going to get the opportunity to see the good and the bad I'm not just going to upload my wins but as you guys can see here we are getting things started on offense pretty effective with the running game early on third and one we do pick that one up I, it was a lot closer than I expected it to be when I was in the open field there but first play on the passing game, or at least the deep passing game, we hit up Vincent Jackson on that play action pass. Nice, nice gain there. And we are looking pretty darn good here on this opening drive as we hit Jason Morrow there for a five yard gain. LaShawn McCoy off the right hand side and he is taken down in the backfield. But didn't take long because we are going to continue to throw the ball over the middle. Jordan Cameron picks up the first down, a huge first down there. And that set up the deep ball, guys. Beautiful pass there by Randall Cunningham to your boy Vincent Jackson for the touchdown. We go up 7-0 on the first drive. And watch my opponent here. He has the 95 Peyton Manning, and he is just going to huck this thing to Mike Evans. I think that's a team of the week, Mike Evans. I don't remember, though. It could have been the rising star. Either way, Mike Evans is an animal in this game. So I definitely need to pay attention to that deep ball. I cannot get beat by it. But you are going to see him moving this football effectively underneath here, setting up the run and as well as the play action pass as he picks up a decent gain there with Denard Robinson. Chris Harris just kind of pushed him. He didn't even really go for the tackle. But this play is quite embarrassing here as Chris Harris is going to get absolutely shit on by Mike Evans there. Could not do anything in coverage. I knew once he threw that that I was absolutely screwed. Look at Donald Pendo back on offense with a huge catch there. He breaks a tackle and picks up decent yardage after the catch. Look at my receivers. Vincent Jackson is an absolute animal blocking, guys. I don't know what the deal is, but he was doing an amazing job in this game. We break away for a beautiful touchdown run there. You guys know how hard it is to get those breakaway runs in this game, so I was very happy to get that nice touchdown run there with McCoy. It, it was kind of a play that I like to go back to if I'm having trouble running the football early. That counter will sometimes work, but I was not expecting it to work for a touchdown there. But my opponent is back on offense now, third and inches here, and I was expecting a run, and I totally fell for that play action pass as he beats me deep. I believe that's Kyle Rudolph. Yeah, Kyle Rudolph beats me deep. He looked like a freaking wide receiver right there, so that was a little bit frustrating, but I mean, I did fall for it, so I can't complain too much. Third and one here, though, and we have the ball again with LaShawn McCoy. He is doing an amazing job in this one, picking up yardage. And he even scored a touchdown. So, I mean, things are looking good in the running game. But we missed this pass here. That was a wide open pass to Donald Penn. It should have been a huge gain. But we are going to pick up decent yardage there on second down. Makes it a manageable third and two here. And we are going to keep it on the ground with McCoy. We're doing a great job running the football. And we step out of bounds there. 32 seconds left on the clock. Trying to be managing of the clock a little bit. But I also don't want to give him enough time that if I do score that he's able to get into the end zone. But we are still going to be continuing to run the football here. Trying to pick up yardage but also setting up this play action pass here. And look at that. He misses the tackle and over pursues. And we get into the end zone with Donald Penn. That was actually Lawrence Taylor. So that was a great play by Donald Penn. And my opponent's going to bomb the ball deep here. And oh my gosh, I was a little bit worried there for a moment. When he threw that football, it was single coverage again, Chris Harris. And that was the end of the half. So my opponent did get the ball first coming out of the half. Five carries for 10 yards for him at that point in time. And gotcha, bitch. Ladarius Webb gets the interception here. And things are suddenly looking very, very good. Now watch this. Vincent Jackson, I move him in motion and no one covers him. So what do you think I'm going to do? 
Yeah, I'm throwing it right to Vincent Jackson for an easy pick up here. And we get the ball down there at about the what about the seven yard line now and he misplays the ball again and we are able to get into the end zone bad users there by a, my opponent for sure and we take advantage of it by putting seven points on the board on that drive he's going to try and go deep here again to mike evans this time we have the safety over the top devin mccourty gets the interception and we are back in business on offense already up 14 in this one and going to try and extend that lead a little bit here and look at LaShawn mccoy he is breaking away from the defense again another nice pickup there and that sets up again what should have been a decent play action pass but unfortunately we did not make it happen and we missed the screen pass here LaShawn McCoy for whatever reason just drops the ball it hits him in the hands third and long here and look at this we just chucked this thing up for Vincent Jackson he has been the MVP in the passing game gets a beautiful catch there we do take a sack there to set up second and 19 but check out this run right here Ridiculous stuff by that LaShawn McCoy. Delicious. Now you're seeing a kickoff, which as TDK says, either he messed up or I messed up. Give a fuck about your feelings. Absolutely monstrous hit there by Sean Lee. We pick up the football after the fumble, and guys, we are in business to potentially go up another score here. We're already up three scores, 21-point lead, and we're taken down there in the backfield, unfortunately, but still having a great game here. And this play, we are going to take a sack and fumble, but thankfully, our right tackle is there. I believe that's Phil Lodeholt picks up the ball, and I'm just going to take my points here, guys. Fourth and 23, I'm not going to try and go for it there. First play back on defense, though, and we get the interception. That is DJ Swearinger. He is like a super deep depth player. I have no idea why he was on the field. But as you guys can probably imagine, down 24 points, my opponent is going to rage quit. So that is going to do it in this game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. That's how we grow this channel and everything like that. So thank you guys for all the support that you've given me. I do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the game. And I guess I will talk to you guys again soon.